yo, yo, it's your boy G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to the sponsors of the channel, my boy Fast Classic. Mixtape is in the description box. It is absolutely free. Definitely give him a download, give him a listen. And my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG. And we all from. And definitely follow your boy on Instagram at box with G5JeffTV. That's B O X W I T G5 Jeff TV. Now, before I even get started, I apologize for the noise in the background. I'm in the car right now, heading on in, get this money. And this video was basically to recap my experience at the Erickson Lubin versus Nathaniel Gallimore fight um, with the media credentials, being a part of the media. And that was my first PBC event as media. Now, like Reading PA, like it's it's nothing there. Like it's absolutely nothing in Reading PA. Like no disrespect to Reading PA, but it's yeah, like it's nothing in Reading PA. Like nothing to look forward to. That's number one. Number two, when it comes down to it, it wasn't that bad of a ride for me. I'm from Philly. It was about an hour. I would say it's about an hour ride. And uh, I was dolo. I was dolo. So um, the ride wasn't too bad. And my agenda when I got there was to basically network. Like, it's my first event. You know what I'm saying? I don't know anybody personally. Nobody knows me. And that's just what it was so my goal was to go network you know what i'm saying meet as many people as possible now i was going back and forth with some uh fighters on instagram uh that was not on the television portion of the card you know what i'm saying so you know i knew i was going to link up with them but the main people like broner tank um you know those guys you know, I wasn't expecting to meet them or talk to them. Like, um, my goal was just a network at the end of the day. Now, when I got in there, yo, like, when I say it was empty, like, it was empty. And, and I'm just, I'm just recapping. Like, I'm not taking shots or anything like that. Anybody that was there would tell you the same thing I'm telling you. Like, it was empty. Like, basically, the people that was in the actual crowd, like, and when I mean crowd, I'm talking not the uh, the the media section or, like, the floor seats. I'm talking, like, the actual crowd in the arena. I would say it was probably... no more than 150 people that was in the actual stands that was in the actual stands outside of that the majority of the crowd was media and it was uh like the fighters like family friends and team like that was the that was the crowd so when i walked in i was shocked how empty it was in there. That's number one. Um, I get in there. Um, I ain't gonna lie. It felt good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, new people shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like putting on a, a brand new pair of sneaks or like you got a brand new car. Like that, that feeling. You know what I'm saying? I had that feeling when I walked in there. Um, get into the press role, get into the press table and, you know, just seeing my name and, you know, the name of the YouTube channel. Like, it was, it was big. It was big for me. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had a couple minutes where I was just kind of just emotional a little bit. But once I got past that, I pretty much... You know, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to move around, 
do what I do. God walks in and, you know, he introduces himself. And you know, I'm like, yo, I'm Jeff. And he said, yeah, I'm blue. And, you know, it didn't hit me. Um, and I was like, oh, all right, blue, what's up? You know what I'm saying? And he pretty much just kept it moving. I didn't see him for the rest of the night. It didn't get till maybe about an hour later, I realized that was Blue Blood Sports TV from uh, the LDBC uh, that I've met. So uh, big shout out to him. Um, I I learned a lot of things at the event. Uh, no, no matter what, it don't matter how big of a crowd or small of a crowd, you gonna see some women in that joint. So it was, yeah, it was a couple, couple chicks up in there for sure. You know what I'm saying? Definitely a couple chicks up in there. And um, even though it wasn't a lot of people, like it was a good fight atmosphere. Like people were into the fight. You know what I'm saying? They were into the fight. So, um, you know, my whole situation there was just meet people, try to take some pictures and, and really just network. You know what I'm saying? And I seen everybody. I seen um, everybody from the Showtime um, broadcast team seen Broner, seen Tank, uh, Broner, what Broner had on was a little, you know, a little, little snug, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it was a little snug, but, um, yeah, he, he don't look like he gonna be fighting no time soon, he, he had a, he looked every bit of one, I would say probably 170, I would say probably about 170 at the least. You know what I'm saying? Probably more than that, but I would say 170. So if Rona's going to fight, he's probably cutting like 30 or 35 pounds just to get to 147. And that's not counting if he fights at 140. So um, it was interesting to see that. And I know he said he's retired and all that. I'm not buying that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, somebody did say something smart to him. You know what I'm saying? Um, when he was walking in with uh, Erickson Lubin. And uh, not Erickson Lubin, with uh, Robert Bunny Easter. And um, they got that on camera. Um, it wasn't nothing big. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's the, you know, that's the stuff that people will click on and go see thinking it's a, you know, it's a situation. When it's really not. Um, the fights. The fights were pretty good. The fights was pretty good. Um, Robert Easter and um, Adrian Granados. That was the fight of the night. As far as I was concerned. Um, you know the heavyweight fight. At the beginning of the broadcast. Um, the guy Frank Sanchez. He was basically a replacement. And. His opponent. Um, prepared for a Jagba, I think. And it was two completely different styles. And the guy just couldn't get off. You know what I'm saying? So the heavyweight fight was, uh, it wasn't bad, but, you know, I wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't have recorded it and went and watched it again. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then you had the uh, Erickson Lubin and uh, Nate Gallimore fight. And Erickson Lubin looked good, man. Like, he looked good there was so many things that i was noticing technically that he was doing um that i probably wouldn't have noticed on tv you know what i'm saying um but erickson lubin looked real solid looked real good man like he could outside of probably j-rock i might favor him against basically damn near everybody at 154 the way he looked you know what I'm saying? Like the way he looked, I would I would favor him over Tony Harrison. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would give him a legitimate shot against Jamel Charlo. Um, you know, and and naturally, you know, you have to favor Jamel Charlo in a rematch just on how the 
first fight went, but I think Erickson Lubin is extremely better than he was at that particular time. I just think he's a different different animal. You know what I'm saying? So, um, overall, the event was really good. Um, the things that I learned is that um, a lot of the times, the people that was at the, in the media section, they would disappear for a while. So they were going to um, they were going to the spots where guys was uh, doing ring entrances, you know, walk walk into the ring, like they would disappear and go check that out. Um, you know, they knew who to holler at to get to the back. You know, what I mean, dressing room and all of that. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't have anybody to kind of cling on to. With that being my first event, um, PBC event, like and just shadow them and just follow them around. I didn't have that. So I was just there solo. So I just took a lot of still pics. Um, you know what I'm saying? A um, lot of video. Um, I got videos of the fights. I got videos of, um, of course, the ring girl. <laughs> the ring girl was fire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she shouted me out on uh, Instagram. Um, I didn't even know who she was till, you know, I posted the video or the picture and, um, somebody mentioned her name on Instagram. So, you know, they put her on to the video and, and basically was like, yo, like this dude did a video on you. Like, so she definitely shouted out, shouted me out. So big shout out to her. Um, hopefully, um, you know, I get a chance to talk to her and, you know, see what she's up to as far as uh, her career and things like that um but it turned out really really good um things that i would change i would definitely change my approach i would definitely um have more um more pictures of people i've seen a whole lot of people i've seen you know like paulie and you know sam watson and all those guys and i just didn't walk up to a lot of them and say, yo, like, what's up? Like, can I get a, you know, can I get a picture? Like, you know, I know I was media, but I had to treat it like I was on, you know, like fan status, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I learned a lot, you know, just dealing with that situation and, you know, just being there on my own, not having like, you know, I guess you can call it, you say like a mentor you know, on how to work those events. And, um, you know, couldn't get no worse. So, <laughs> you know, only can go up, you know what I'm saying? As far as the, the quality, but, you know, my mission going forward is gonna be the same to network, um, get as many pictures as possible, get as many videos as possible. I'm not too big on actually doing live interviews with the big time people at the fight strictly because they're trying to enjoy the fight and the content that you get like it's okay to put in a video but like you're not really trying to um you're not really trying to um you know put something out and it's not quality you know what I'm saying? Like, it was videos put out of, you know, Broner and Tank just joking around and bullshit. And, like, people like to see that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and that's a video that's cool to drop. It's just, if that's all you drop from the event, then, you know what I'm saying? Like, from a view standpoint, it may not have been a wasted trip. But from a professional standpoint you know what i'm saying like you know it's kind of one of those things where it's just like all right they joking around now what you know what i'm saying um but i'm gonna have to learn to get those those videos it's like you take what you can get um as you get bigger in the game and a lot of times people just want to see the big time people on camera like they don't care what they're doing you know what I'm saying? And it'd be like the most irrelevant videos that blow up. You know what I'm saying? And I understand that. And, um, you know, that's something I'm going to have to basically go against what I like to do 
and keep in mind that I have to, you know, I got to feed the base. You know what I'm saying? I got to feed the base at the end of the day. So um, this is just a recap of everything that I went through that uh, that day. Um, was it worth going? It was absolutely worth it. Um, anything that don't kill you is a learning experience. So um, I definitely learned from it. And I'm happy that I learned from it. Um, you know, comparing, I had more access at the top rank event. I'm not even on front. Um, when I went to the Peturbiev and uh, Vuzdik fight, they was letting us roam around all over the place, man. Like, they didn't care. Like, we was just like, all right, we going back here. We going back there. Show your badge. We going back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy. And I'm not saying that PBC don't have the access. I'm just saying my first PBC event, I just didn't know how to move. You know what I mean? I knew people at the top rank event, so I was able to kind of tag along and you know things like that you know but um that was my experience and i'm gonna try to do uh as best i can to you know give you guys that perspective where y'all feel like y'all are there with me you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna have a series um called media chronicles where i'm just gonna be dropping all types of YouTube videos on things that, that happen at live events while I'm there as media. I think that'd be real cool. Um, and I definitely drop a couple videos on the channel um, with the Media Chronicles uh, title. Um, you know, especially the one with the ring girl. That, that shit was popping. You know what I'm saying? But your boy G5 Jeff TV working, man. You know what I'm saying? The channel's only going to get bigger. It's only going to get better. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, meeting you guys, uh, dropping more content, working as hard as I possibly can, um, trying to clear up some things, you know, life-wise to get more time to actually dedicate to the channel. Um, if y'all knew what I did on a daily basis to bring you what I bring y'all right now, you would be, you know, amazed, you know, at what I do with the little bit of time that I have. But, it's only going to get better from here on out. And I promise you, give me about, give me about, give me about a year. Give me about a year. I promise you I'm going to be one of the, one of the best boxing channels in the business, period. Like, I'm going to be top five, period. And I'm, I'm putting a stamp on that, for sure. Putting a stamp on that. But... Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.